Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make several different types of tassels. This first one is very simple. You'll need two skeins of embroidery floss and scissors. Cut about 12 inches of floss and tie it around the center of the main tassel floss. You can wrap it around again to secure it. Now I'm tying a hanging knot on top. Take another 12 inches and wrap it around about an inch down from the hanging loop. Knot it securely. Now pull off the embroidery floss labels. Trim the bottom part neatly. And here is your tassel. To make a multicolored tassel, you can follow the same instructions. Just use two or more skeins at a time. I like to take a comb and comb the fibers to create a fluffier tassel. Now here's another type of tassel. Fold your embroidery floss in half and move the labels evenly. Take your other skein of floss and gently and neatly wrap it around the center of the one skein from one label to another. Now bend it together and remove the labels. Wrap around the center a few times. Cut your floss, thread it through a needle, and just kind of weave it back and forth a few times. Cut the bottom off and fluff it out. You can add other things to your tassel like end caps or beads. If you cut off the hanging loop and replace it with the jump ring like this, you can then get your favorite chain and wear it as a necklace. Yarn tassels are made in a similar way. I like to wrap my yarn around a DVD case. You can also hold several other colored strands together while you wrap. Cut a 12 inch section of yarn and weave it into the center. Tie a good and secure knot. Once completed, remove the yarn from the DVD case. Take another 12 inch strand of yarn and just as before, tie and knot it an inch or two down from the hanging loop. If you want, Thread the yarn through a needle and push both strands down into the center where you can't see them. Cut and trim the bottom neatly. And here is your yarn tassel. To view this video in other languages, click on the closed caption link on YouTube and turn on subtitles. From there, you can choose from over 100 different languages. I hope this video has helped you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, check out the description or the info button of this video for more information. And please visit Nastasia.com for more tips and tricks on creative, self-sufficient living.